What is going on, Rick and Morty fans? Welcome to another video with your host as always. Came back time. Now, before we get to today's awesome new video, I want to announce that we're doing another Rick and Morty themed giveaway of a Rick Pop vinyl figure. All you guys have to do to enter this giveaway is to A, like the video, B, be subscribed, and C, leave a comment down below. I'll be picking out a random commenter to win this, and then I'll get a hold of you on the comments or on Twitter, something like that, and uh, we'll get this shipped out to you. But anyway, the news I want to bring you today, guys, is something we've been waiting for very patiently for a very long time, and that is, of course, that McDonald's is bringing back Szechuan sauce again. Now, we saw this a few months back, and it was a small run, and it was absolutely turmoil. People were freaking out. There was riots. There was reports that Szechuan sauce was only limited to four packages or four packets per special location, and they were being given out at four in the morning at some places, and there was hundreds and hundreds of people showing up for their sauce and then being none to give out, and then people were freaking out. Of course, we've all seen the viral videos of some idiot jumping up on top of the counter screaming Pickle Rick and being an asshole and causing a scene. And that was absolute chaos. So since then, McDonald's has vowed to do better, to do right with this, but they've been very silent about this. They've, they've gone radio silent on this. They have not made any mention of this for months. Since that debacle, they said they'd try to do better. They pretty much, everyone's kind of almost forgot about it, except for me. I, I didn't get my hands on it. I went to three different McDonald's that day. I was there two hours early. I was in Texas at the time for Retropalooza, and I, I left the convention to go find the sauce, and I, I pretty much wasted an entire day trying to find this damn sauce, and it, I, I understand people's frustrations because it was bull crap. But anyway, just today, just today, McDonald's announced on their Facebook, their Twitter, and other social medias that they're going to make a, some kind of announcement. That the, first, the first off the announcement is that the sauce is coming back. They don't have a date just yet. The only thing they said here is that we are working tirelessly on bringing the sauce back. On Thursday, February 22nd, which is just two days from recording this, we would not only announce when and where the Szechuan sauce will return, but we'll also finally answer the burning question, what happened to the sauce? To visit, to find out the answer, visit wewantthesauce.com or download a series of podcasts starting on February 22nd. So it sounds like they're making you jump through a hoop here to listen to their podcast this Thursday. Um, they have the first episode up. I'll play a snippet of that now. I don't know if you guys can hear. They didn't realize the power, I guess, this thought had. A little bit weird. We got, we got lines already at 4 in the morning. <laughs> it was one of the worst days of my career. So, yeah. So that's just a little bit of the podcast. They're going to be making a three or four piece podcast special on this. I don't know. They're probably going to try and get you to subscribe to their podcast over this, which whatever. I'll listen to the stupid podcast and it gives you directions on how to get the stupid sauce. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but hopefully they don't screw this up. I don't believe they'll, they'll do a repeat and they only have limited numbers and limited things. I can almost guarantee that they're going to do um, most McDonald's, if not all McDonald's, and they're probably going to do um, huge amounts of this, like so much you could drink it, uh, just to make up for their giant debacle, their, their giant mistake they made last time. They're going to try and make this right. They said they were going to try and make it right, and if they drop the ball again, Rick and Morty fans will tear those buildings to the ground. They will burn it down if they don't get their sauce. Like, it was bad last time. People jumping up, screaming, riots, people being shoved and yelling. Could you imagine if they did that again? If they pulled that again, I don't think Rick and Morty fans would stand for it. I know I wouldn't. I don't think I'd burn a building to the ground, but some people might get a little out of hand. I don't know. So guys, all I have to know is make sure you guys are staying tuned. I will have all the follow-up information on this on Thursday when they release this podcast. I'm going to be listening to it, figuring out what the information is, uh, listening for announcements, keeping my ear to the ground on this. Hopefully you guys are able to get some sauce this time. Hopefully I am too, because I want to freaking try that sauce. I want a 20-piece and a gallon of Szechuan sauce, because that's how much to freaking ask for. God damn it, McDonald's. Make it happen. Uh, and make it happen soon. I don't want this to be like coming this summer. I want this to be like, oh, and next week you can get it. That's what I want. I want them to have been making gallons and gallons and gallons of this sauce since the day that they screwed up just to now that you can go in there and buy it by the jug. I will buy a jug of it, bring it home, and dip it in absolutely everything I eat because I want to try it that bad. But anyway, that's all I have for today, guys. Like I said earlier, if you guys are interested in winning the Rick Pop figure, all you guys have to do is like the video. Comment down below and be subscribed to the channel and you guys are entered to win 
this Rick vinyl. Hopefully you guys are going to be getting your hands on Test One Sauce. Hopefully we all are getting our hands on Test One Sauce in the near, near future. But until next time, guys, remember that it's always K-Mac time somewhere. Until then, guys, take it easy and peace.